Hey everybody, here we are back in Tinkercad. Uh, this is your next assignment, a quick review of how to make a nesting box. I'm gonna go through this as if I'm going through each day of what was assigned for this week. So try to watch closely, see if you did similar to what I did based on the directions that were given to you in the document uh, 2.2. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do Anytime I'm going to make something in Tinkercad is to make sure I'm making it two inches. So I go down to edit grid. I change millimeters to inches. Click update grid. Now we're in inches. So for Tuesday, we're just making the, the box itself. So I put a box down. Again, you guys see these white squares and black squares. These are all dimensions. So if I click, let's say this white corner at the bottom. Click that, I get two measurements. In the directions, it says a two by two by three solid box. So I make this side two inches, this side two inches, and the height then what makes sense would be three. So I click this middle white square, and I change the height to three inches. Okay. And there is the box. All right. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to change this color. Let's make this white. All right. And then I'm going to go, now it says for number two, to make a 1.2 inch by 1.2 inch by 2.6 whole box. So this striped box is a whole box. Again, click your corner square. Change that to 1.2. Change this to 1.2. Enter. Top square is my height. I'm going to change my height to 2.6, enter. Good. So now you can see the whole box and the regular box. Now anytime I try to align something, I actually kind of put it on where I think it would go first. All right? And while that's selected, I click Shift and click the box that I'm aligning it to. Then I go to Align because I know they're both selected. I'm going to click the top arrow so you can see it goes to the top. Center dot there and center dot here. And if you look, the gray dots are the ones that I have clicked, right? So anywhere where it's gray is where I have aligned. If I wanted to change the alignment, I can click to a different dot. But you can see the gray dots are where I have aligned. This looks good. I go up here, I click group. And there is my hollowed out box or main house. All right, and this is all you were supposed to do for Tuesday. So now we're gonna go right on to Wednesday, the next day of directions, and that is to create a roof. So what's nice is there is a roof shape. So I go ahead and I grab that and I put it down here again. Uh, you have measurements here. It tells you that the size are four inches and the height is a half inch. So I'm going to click this corner here. Go ahead and change that to four. Go ahead, change that to four. Oops, should have let me do that. Right here, click four. And if I want to check the height, I'll just click this side here. And it's already a half an inch, so there's nothing to change as far as height goes. Again, when I align, and just drag this over to where I think it would possibly go, right? As far as alignment. So, you know, that's pretty close. And while it's selected, I click Shift and click the box. So now I know the roof and the box or how main house are selected. I go to Align. I would first like to bring the, the house up. Now you can see here, it's only going to bring the top of the house to the top of the main house. So it's not going to put the bottom. So that's a problem. But what I can do is I can try to align the center. And it looks like it's already lined the center there. So it's centered. We have a problem. The problem is the height. Now we know from yesterday's creation that this box up here is actually three inches tall. But if I click this and I click the height here, 
I can go ahead and raise this up to three inches exactly if I go slowly here. Hold on, there it is, three. And I know that it's at the exact height of the box. And it is centered because of our alignment. So I can go ahead and hit shift, click the box, go ahead and click group. Now it's gonna make everything green. I can go ahead and click off of that and say multicolor, right? And then I'll keep the top green, all right? And it's still grouped. So there is my nesting box with a roof to the correct size. And that is all you need to have done for Wednesday, May 6th. All right, so we're gonna go on to the last part, which is uh, creating the whole cylinder that's gonna go inside. This is for Thursday, May 7th. So all I'm asking you to do for Thursday, May 7th is to go ahead and make a whole cylinder for birds to enter. So I grab the whole cylinder command, right? Or shape, and I place it down there, okay? It says here that the dimensions of the cylinder is 0 0.4, by four by 0 0.4. Now, what that's telling you is the diameter is 0 0.4 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this guy here and I'm gonna change both of these measurements to 0.4. Click this one, 0.4, hit enter. So now I have a diameter of 0 0.4. Second issue is the height, right? According to directions, make the height four inches. So it's gonna be much larger than we think, All right? There it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees. You can look inside that red circle there, you can see me rotating to 90. Okay. And the height is from, so if I click this height button here, okay, it tells you that's 0.4 high which is the diameter. But how high is it off the ground right now? Click this cone, see if it'll tell me. So click here, click the cone. If I go like this, it tells you it's one point, well, sorry, one and seven eighths off the ground. And we want it to be uh, 2.04 off the ground, 2.04. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is simply use my arrow keys on my keyboard to try and center it. All right, that's not great. So click shift, click the nesting box, click a line, and let's go ahead and center it right there. If I want to center it in the middle there, I mean we can, not a big deal. Okay, and there's the hole at the correct height and centered. Go ahead and click group. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is the hole going through the main house and the nesting box is complete. Okay, and that is what has to be done for Thursday, May 7th. For Friday, May 8th, you would of course submit this, okay? So if it's Thursday, May 7th, I recommend, right, first of all, let's save this. So I'm gonna say nesting box Reynolds for Mr. Reynolds. So I know it's mine. Click off of there. There it is, all right, saved. And then what we wanna do here, right, is hopefully you guys know how to take a screenshot. So you do a screenshot of this image and that is what you will submit on Friday in a uh, Google Doc assignment. Uh, you'll submit that image to show me that your nesting box is done. Choose a good angle though. This is a good angle uh, so I can see that your nesting box is made correctly. All right, if you ever wanna check to see if your work is saved, you can go ahead and click the Tinkercad logo. Here it says Tinkercad dashboard. You can click that. I'll take you to your dashboard where all of your projects and designs are housed. And I can see right here, nesting box Reynolds is complete. All right, guys.
Hopefully that was helpful. Good luck, and we'll talk soon.